I know y'all been patiently waiting, and we appreciate it. Welcome back to Dunk Lee. It's been four years, four long years, since the summer of Staples. But we back. Dunk League Volume 3. Nine dunkers, seasoned vets, and some fresh blood ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for 50 stacks of cold hard cash. First up, it wouldn't be Dunk League without it. Volume 2's runner-up, Jonathan Clark, a.k.a. The Jump Pop. It's going to have to take, you know, tenacity, creativity, uniqueness, throwing down dunks, making your dunks, being consistent. CJ! That ring a bell? That's my man CJ Champion, a.k.a. CGI. That young boy from Volume 2 shocked us all. You know I had to give him another call. I don't care. I'm going to jump as high as I can, dunk as hard as I can. I'll do the best that I can do. I know it's going to be pretty fire. That man Jordan Sutherland fractured his arm last time, and now he's back and better than ever. My man Jordan Sutherland, a.k.a. the one-foot guy. I don't think it's any way you can prepare for Dunk League by just doing nothing more than just taking care of your body, making sure you have your dunks consistent, and just being ready when that time comes up. New kid on the block who quit college to be a pro dunker. Got my respect. Let's see what he can do. Dan Gross. Uh, started in middle school, I was trying to touch the net, and then once I got that, I tried to touch the rim. And then whenever I was 15, I got my first dunk, and then from there it just took off. Another member of the rookie class, ready to turn some heads, Connor Barth. Getting the invite to Dunk League was pretty significant for me. I haven't been in dunking nearly as long as everybody else has been. You've seen this man all over IG. This rookie has something to prove coming into Dunk League. That high flyer, Anthony Hamilton Jr. It's a surreal experience. Blessing to be here. I'm happy to be here, and I'm excited to be here and see what happens today. A true rookie. You've seen this kid before. You dunk heads will remember him from the Dunk League 2 audition. This kid has grown up now. Tyler Curry. I think I just have the, the nicest style. I'm the shortest one here, and all my dunks just look cool, whether they're basic or not. Four years ago, he was a baby, and now he's everywhere. Some say he's the best in the world. We got to find out. The Puerto Rican airbender, Isaiah Rivera. I have a goal of being like so overwhelmingly good. It's not a, a question like whether I'm going to advance or not. And finally, yep, he's back. That boy I call the myth killer, Jordan Kilgannon. I've done a lot of dunk contests now. That's why I show up extremely prepared because I've had a lot of losses and a lot of lessons learned. Who's joining Guy Dupuis and Chris Staples as Dunk League champion? Only one way to find out. Let's get it popped. Gentlemen, some of y'all know me and some of y'all don't. My name's Mouthpiece. AKA the Black Adam Silver, AKA the Commissioner of Dunk League. Welcome to Dunk League Volume 3. You've each been brought here because crowning the best dunker in the world without you would be a sin. But you gotta earn it. Two seasons in the bag, but now I'm bringing in some extra firepower. Say what up to the first lady of Dunk League, Rachel Demita. For volume three, we had to raise the stakes. Every competition ahead of the finale is now worth $5,000. So make it there and compete for another 20K and the Golden Rim Trophy. And just like the previous seasons, your score will accumulate after every challenge. Find yourself at the bottom and you'll be sent back. You only have yourself and the judges to thank for that. Oh, that's right, the judges. Special effects. Uh, I got the name Special Effects and the Rucker. 2003, they said I was doing dunks that can only be seen in the movies, hence special effects. Elevator. I like to see new people come out, you know, and, you know, show me their talents and show me their new dunks. And remix. Be precise, consistent, show your character, have some enthusiasm, and own the crowd. Challenge one of Dunk League. Down from day one. Each of y'all will have 90 seconds to throw down your dunk mixtape. The winner takes $5,000 and first place on the leaderboard. And it's the only time in this entire competition that no one gets eliminated. So let's get it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get it pop.
First up, that man representing out of North Carolina, a.k.a. North Kakalaki, that man Dan Gross. This is my first, like, really big event. I just basically trained the past year, and then I took um, this week off to prepare for the dunk contest. In three, two, one, go! Uh-oh. Hello! I'm just ready to show the world what I can do. Oh! Hurt yourself. 45 seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh, give him a round of applause, y'all. Welcome to the Dunk League. What do you think is going to separate you from the rest of the dunkers here? We have some vets. I know you're a little new to the scene. Uh, I'm going to bring some creativity into it, some dunks that haven't been done before. Up next, Anthony Hamilton Jr. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do what I've been working on, and you know we'll go from there and see what happens. Three, two, one, go. It really just started with me just simply posting a video on Instagram. One day, I just was starting to do stuff that was abnormal to people, and it was normal to me. Hello. A lot of people think I'm a asshole, like just based off my social media, and they don't know me, but I'm like the goofiest, funniest dude. Like I'm easy, I'm the easiest guy to talk to. Applause, with me, it's just enjoying the moment, um, soaking it all in. I'm here with a bunch of great guys. Being able to compete on the stage is uh, just great for me. Coming up next, give it up for Connor Barth. Dunking is where all my friends are. Dunking is the job that I do. Basically, since I started dunking, my entire life has changed in every single aspect. In three, two, one, go. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's go, big fella. Okay, somebody getting funky. Getting the invite to Dunk League was pretty significant for me, but I knew that I was one of the better dunkers, so this was basically just validation for what I already believed. Hey! Ten seconds left. And that is it. Give a round of applause, y'all. Connor, I talked to you right before this competition and you were complaining about a sore shoulder. Yeah, yeah, my right shoulder's hurt. I just can't swing my arm as hard as I want, but for those specific dunks I did, it doesn't affect it. I felt like the first round went really good, actually, for what I was expecting to do. I just wanted to bang everything first try, and if I didn't make a bunch of dunks, it doesn't matter. Next up, my man CJ Champion, AKA. CGI. What does it take to win something like Dunk League? Just be at your peak when it's time to go, when the lights are on. In three, two, one, go! Florida's finest, let's get it. You have to be like over prepared for something like this. There's a lot more to think about in terms of strategy with what other dunkers are doing, how is it going to compare to yours, how are you going to get the judges to be on your side. One minute, one minute. Ooh. Give me the money shot, bro. I feel like you came out the gate super strong. You were going for some powerful dunks in the first round. You feel you feel happy about it? Not exactly, but I got the nerves out of the way. I feel fresh now, so I think from here on it'll be good. And up next, my man Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. Three, two, one, go. Hello. Yes, indeed. With me, you're going to see one foot, you're going to see two foot, you're going to see vertical. Just try to push the pace and being able to, to adapt to all scenarios. B 
being at Dunk League for the third time, I, I feel like it's definitely an honor. Season one, I got injured. Season two, you know, I just came up short. So the goal, obviously, is to come out and, you know, bring home that title. 15 seconds. The jump up. Oh yes, it is. Up next, that man Jordan Sutherland, AKA the one foot guy. In three, two, one, go. Yes, indeed. When you watch a dunk in slow motion, it's like watching ballet. It's really an art form. The one footer does it again. One minute left, one minute left. Oh. It's a reason I do call myself the one foot guy. It's not being cocky. It's just because I felt like I've leveled up the one foot game. Like it was dunks that people thought you could never do off one foot until I started doing them. Hey, hey now. Hello. Here comes Sutherland with his last attempt for the mix. Hello! Give him a round of applause, y'all! You came off looking a little defeated. Are you not happy? Not at all. That was a terrible performance. I hated every dunk I did. I didn't make the first dunk I was supposed to. I should have did way better than that. That was trash. You can't be the one foot guy doing trash stuff. So, I'll see y'all next round. Up next, we got that man, Tyler Curry! They know my talent. They know what I could do. And I'm just here to prove that. In three! Two, one, go! Oh my goodness. We gonna start it off with the shortest man in the competition already getting the crack. Definitely got established in the dunk game. It's cool to be at that level to compete against him. Ooh, almost. One minute left. Oh, man. Get to the money. Gotta finish him though, man. You gotta finish him. Ooh, three, two, one. Give him a round of applause, y'all. Up next, representing out of Canada, that man, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. My preparation for Dunk League, it's kind of the same it always is for, for me when it comes to dunk contests, is just doing a lot of training like months ahead of time. In three. Two, one, go! Yes, indeed! One minute left! Take the longest, but it's the best. It's the best preparation I've ever seen. I like to be as prepared as I can be. Yes, indeed! Jordan Kilgannon, y'all. Jordan, I feel like this is second nature to you. You seem calm, like you were just like any day in the office. One thing with me, if I try and rush things, I get tired and I'll probably start missing. Um, but after the first round, I feel pretty good. Didn't miss a dunk, so that's good. And last but not least, that man Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. Since last dunk league, that, that was four years ago, and I've grown so much as a dunker since then. I, I think that's a big thing for me. This dunk league is to like come out and just show that like I'm a, I'm a different dunker now. Three, two, one, go! Oh. Hello! I've been dunking against this man for so long that I know what dunks he's about to do before they have it. Oh my goodness! One minute left. At different stages of my dunk career, I've had like different mentors. One of the big ones was Guy Dupuy. My first overseas competition ever two years ago, I beat him um, in Paris, France. That was like a really cool moment for me. must be saving the real stuff for later. I want to be able to compete against these guys and be able to, to beat them. I don't know, I think it's like a full circle type of thing.
one. You got creative at the end, and we saw some nice dunks during the round, but do you have more up your sleeve? Oh yeah, my, my bag is really deep. That's, that's just the beginning of it, so I'm ready to pull everything I got out in this contest. From the last season, I've seen a lot of progression, man. You know, especially from Revere. A lot of very good dunks out there. A lot of stuff I haven't seen. A lot of hype, too. A couple misses, but, you know, it, that comes with, comes with dunking. I saw a couple guys come out with energy. It really shows for this round who's really on the leaderboard, depending on how much energy they brought out and then making their dunks. Look. This ain't ever easy, so I appreciate y'all showing up and showing out right away. The winner of the down from day one is walking away with five Gs, and lucky for some of y'all, ain't nobody going home. Let's see who took home the bag. In ninth, we have CJ Champion. Eighth, Anthony Hamilton Jr. In seventh, Dan Gross. Sixth, Tyler Curry. In fifth, we have Jordan Sutherland. And in fourth, Connor Barth. So now it's down to Jordan Kilgannon, Isaiah Rivera, or Jonathan Clark. The top three spots were decided by less than one point. The $5,000 go to... Isaiah Rivera with 29.4. Shout out to the Puerto Rican airbender for taking home the 5,000 in the first round. Isaiah finds himself five G's richer at the top of the leaderboard, but he the target now. Next time on Dunk League. Welcome to How Hop. We're taking this far above regulation. Who's got the hops to take home five stacks in this competition? Oh!